Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Character Guides. Character Guide in Insight, actually. My name is Silva Koji, and this is the Zone Game and Go. We're going to be talking about Kuma, power type character, 2,000 points. One of the tricky characters in the game, if despite not being a tricky character. He has decent damage, good reach, uh, one of the most amazing moves in this game. Actually, he's the only character in this game with an insta kill, which we'll get into pretty, pretty quickly. So let's first focus on his basic attack, which is basically five hits ending in a pad cannon. Now I want to talk a little bit about that fifth hit. That fifth hit in his uh, move, where he actually slams the ground, is an AOE. So if the opponent is beside you, behind you, well not really behind you, but you know beside you, they will get hit by the AOE of that shockwave there. Now in a combo, I'm over skipping. Okay, his range attack is a spin. When he does a spin, he'll knock the person away. Now, the spin can not really be backstep as well. You gotta actually focus because it, he, he stretches out his limbs, so he kind of just whirls around. It has no combo potential in the move, so um, their opponent doesn't have, anything, doesn't have anything to worry about if they do get hit. It's just a very good AOE option that Kuma has to get people off his back. And now, because of him being a big character, it's good for saying, like, if I'm in a corner, just knock you away. He doesn't have that option like Ikamariah does to flash guard and potentially teleport out of the way. He has to focus on more universal moves. Now, inside a combo, his range attack becomes a knockup. This knockup is one of the best in the game. It can be comboed pretty easily with other characters, like, for instance, I'm bringing in Jozo, do a heavy guard break, stuff like that. And something else you can do if you ever plan on doing giant characters and you're like, oh man, this team looks cool. It's like something like this, bring in Jozo, heavy guard break, now you have Whitebeard, you just need two bars of Burning Gate to do this, and just like that. Now, if you actually have Garp Support activated at the time there's a Zelfer character, that character's dead. Or you have plus two, that character's dead. Okay? Now, for his next, uh, next uh, round of uh, moves, his normal guard break is a slap down, puts the person in stagger, stagger state, can be comboed with pad cannon. Now in a combo, it's the same variation, can also be comboed with pad cannon, same deal. Now he has no um, actual option for using a normal guard break in a combo, like it's never an actual combo, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, you can't actually make it a true combo string. It's more like a mix up combo. So you're just gonna have to figure out how to actually do it. Now. His normal, his uh, heavy guard break. His heavy guard break is pretty cool. So his heavy guard break, let me give him a buff, uh, the debuff real quick. Actually removes debuffs and buffs from the character completely. Now in cases like Buggy, and uh, people who actually can make their own debuffs and buffs, if you manage to do this heavy guard break on someone like let's say Buggy, um, he will no longer be able to gain his uh, what is it called? Is it confidence? Is it ch charisma? His charisma uh, plus one because of his passive anymore like throughout the entire match is completely gone so that's really cool to do on certain characters now against 9k teams and stuff you probably don't have anything to worry about I mean you can do it on Garb you you don't know what really does the buff that much with Garb but it's just a really cool uh, special effect you have besides doing a bunch of damage it has that additional effect there okay let's focus on these jump attacks here so his first jump attack is a um, slap down and you're probably wondering what jump unique is it's literally the same exact thing they both are the same very good moves actually it puts person to slapping state and you can just keep on fighting afterwards something i want to mention before we actually get into more of his moves is that something really cool we can do with this basic this right here oh goodness i just did it four minutes ago step up here we go now please understand that is actually a solo combo for kuma so after that pad cannon will not be able to get uni chained that is like only if you only have Kuma or you just really want to kill your opponent. And also that is a flash counter combo. You, people can flash counter that. You won't do the non-flash counter variation. You can always just do the laser, which does less damage, but it's a not, you can't flash counter the laser since you're in the air. Okay, so moving on here, we're going to go to Unique Button. Unique Button is the uh, laser, because he was laser. Same, basically the same exact thing, just without the uni chain. Then you have the anti-laser or anti-air uh, laser, which is down Unique. Which again, same thing, just this time is in the air. They can be charged up for more damage, or just delay your opponent. And damage is not really all that much. It's just, it, it gives you just a helpful move we're gonna have, to be honest with you guys. Okay, and now for his special moves here, his uh, pad can is his first special attack. This move is a unity chain. Spook, spook. Okay, that, that was terrible. Okay, yeah, so first move is a pad cannon. This pad cannon is extremely fast. It's probably one of the scariest moves in the game. 
because he you can see him do the startup but it happens so fast and despite him being like you know directly under kuma he still fires it whatever the opponent is located at okay the next move he has is squish and this time i'm gonna actually have to get this demonstrated is it normal hit me really Come on, just, just hit me. There you go. Squish can be comboed with Pad Cannon. Not to mention that Squish also removes his Logi. So if you actually hit uh, Kuma when he does Squish, you will get countered. Something else I need to mention heavily, if I can just get this. Is that is also a unit chain. As most of the counters in this game actually are. So with Squish, it gives Kuma a, a good edge in, in the gameplay. It, I'm saying this really because uh, when people actually fight against Kuma, they have to worry about getting affected by Squish at all times because it just comes out. It's not a super fast counter, but it's like it's easily punishable. But just the, the sheer might that Kuma has, um, well technically this is a special guard, not special unique, that Kuma has a counter that does a uni chain and also has a fast back, back cannon or fast projectile that does a uni chain makes him very dangerous to fight against. Okay, now we're moving on to his down or to the actual special unique, which is one of my favorites. His special unique is where would you like to go or where would you like to travel? As for some reason, I don't know why they even call it that. That's not what he says in the anime. So when he does this, he knocks out one of your characters for about uh, 20 seconds to 10, either 10, 20, or 30 seconds. 10, I want to say 12 seconds actually. So when he does this, the character gets swapped out with the next person in place. You can keep doing this. Now, if there's one person left, that character will actually be KO'd and you basically lose. So what it does, where would you like to travel, this is how it actually works. If a character is affected by where would you like to travel, that character is considered KO'd. It doesn't exist no more. You can't uni assist, you can't uni chain. If I manage to drop Luffy down to low HP and Usopp and Buggy are affected by where would you like to travel, if I kill Luffy, because those two are technically not even here anymore, the battle will be over and I'll win. It's one of the cheapest things you can do with Kuma. Of course, the move is insanely slow, so it's not something you can just do in someone's face and not expect to get punished for it. But it's just an extra thing that he has that makes him extremely dangerous in some certain situations. He can't really combo with... I know there is a character in this game he can combo. Doflamingo. Yeah, if you do Doflamingo's um, range, range attack in the combo, do the knockup, bring in Kuma, he can actually... It's timed so perfectly that the person will be affected by where would you like to travel on hit. Barely, but it actually works. Okay, so now we talked about that. Let's talk about his uh, special movement and everything. So the special movement is to teleport. Kuma can do his special movement twice. The teleport is very decent. It's very fast. Uh, Kuma can't really attack out of it. He has to. It's kind of like Gekka Mirai where he kind of gets punished for teleporting. But it's just a fun thing he actually has. Usually what I do when I have Kuma is I just teleport behind the opponent or like somewhere and I just activate pack hand to get the quick uh, uni chain combo with him. So uh, also when he has ability held, his uh, pad cannon actually becomes thrust pad cannon. To where multiple pad cannons will be shot. It's actually very damaging. It's one of the scariest uh, attacks in the game as it shreds past most of the Logies. Actually, not even, no, not, not most. It shreds through all the Logies but how, for how good this move is. Now, that's the only thing that actually changes when he actually has this ability, so it's nothing much. So, already you kind of feel that Kuma doesn't have much of a moveset like Eka Mariah, but he does have combos and he does have strings, and he's just really fun to play with overall uh, because you're playing as this giant man with so many different, um, I mean, not moves, but more like so many cheap things he can do, if that was a, if that was a good word to use. Okay, so in his awakening, he nothing really changes. Just get the extra power buff and everything, yada yada yada. Okay, he does get this amazing ultimate that is literally one of the worst ultimates in the game. Yeah, I said amazing, I was being sarcastic. What well, the ultimate does is that he fires a small little pad can after condensing one giant one, and it'll explode to create a giant, you know, shockwave and everything. Now, the reason this move is so bad is because it cannot be comboed with anything Kuma can do unless someone proves it to me and puts it in the, in the comments. Uh, another thing about Kuma's uh, ultimate is that it can do... Pretty much a lot of chip damage, a lot of damage on chip. So that's the only thing I think it's good for is actually being used to chip the opponent down, since the move is so easily able to block. 
Like, if you even try to combo this with Kuma, the thing that makes it drop is the fact that the, um, yeah, it's not even actually good chips. They're gonna write us more chips than that with these brick bats. Oh, God, it's terrible. It's, a, it's such a bad ultimate. It's, I, I don't know if it was a mistake or anything like that. It's just a big cry for help from um, him being limited cruise to now having this type of ultimate. So you ever play with Kuma, if you ever actually go into his awakening, if you ever do his ultimate, only primarily use it to finish off a giant character. Okay, I, w I don't recommend uh, attempting using the combo. See, I'm going to show you what happens when you try to combo it. You're probably thinking, oh, maybe I can use my, my, my guard break. You're like, you know, okay, it's going to hit. It's going to hit. Look how slow it moves. I guess it works on the back hit, you know. That's that's one way. It did actually, I did hit somebody before with a back hit from Kuma, so that, that's one thing. So overall, uh, Kuma, limb type character, pretty powerful. Pretty fun to play with. He just doesn't really have much in terms of the speciality department. Uh, when it comes to um, putting your opponent on their toes, he does a really good job at that. He won't do well against Logi type characters unless he actually pulls off the squish, but if they are Logi, they're going to be looking for it anyway because that's like the only only real way you can actually hurt them. He, those two big gimmicks he have with his heavy guard break and his uh, words like to travel makes it for like one of the best moves, but it is very slow like I mentioned before. But you, you'll probably only be able to hit it is if you use your trap character like Usopp or Koji or if you just catch a person when they're like coming towards you like that, which is very, very rare. So I hope you enjoyed this video for One Piece Burning Blood for the Kuma moveset. I will see you in the next video, or next guide video. And uh, let me, uh, ooh, gosh, mm. let me know what you think about Kuma and if you're ready to see any other character uh, be displayed for the character guides.